Hey guys and welcome to a little bit of a different video. As you can probably tell, this is not what you usually see. Today I wanted to try something a little bit different, inspired from a video I saw by Dan TDM, where he basically took the Minecraft biomes and put them in a tier list, and I decided, you know what, I want to do that too. I want to do it with my opinions and my experience from playing the with my experience and from playing the game and what I think where the biomes should be. Not according to anything specific, not according to the community, according to my own personal uh, thoughts and opinions. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think of this kind of content and if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, with that, let's jump right into the video, shall we? So as you can see, we have a tier list here. We have diamond tier, which is like the absolute best. Then we have gold tier, which is very good, but it's not the best. Then we have iron tier, which is like the middle ground. It's okay, it's not bad, but it's not super good. Then we have coal tier, which is like, eh. And then we have dirt tier, which is just, no. Need to revamp, or it's just bad. Um, so that is what we will be going for in this video. So the first one we have here is the flower biome. And this is gonna be difficult, but according to me, this is a gold tier right off the bat, mainly because I, I think you can get bees there, all right? And it is pretty beautiful. I think that is where I'm going to put it. Gold tier is very beautiful. In my, the last vanilla survival series I had, I spawned at a flower biome and it was extremely beautiful. You could get some very cool terrain generation with it. So I think that is a gold tier right there. Now, again, when all of them have been moved up. I might rearrange something, but I think that is a gold tier. I think it's a slightly above iron tier because I think there are a few others that I'm going to put at iron tier that is worse than that. Now, the Mesa biome. The Mesa biome has kind of a special place to me because the very first Let's Play of Minecraft I did, I spawned directly into a Mesa biome. Plus, the Mesa biome has uh, improved gold generation. Plus, you can find mine shafts on the surface. Unfortunately, you can't find desert temples, but there's also mountains of terracotta. So I think that the plus it's rare for me. It's not super cool to live in. I do miss the rain and the times I've generated inside of one. It has been pretty big, so I don't think it reaches the diamond tier. It does have wood as well, but food, farm animals is a little bit, yeah, not not that often found so i think it's a gold tier very cool to me but not diamond tier yet had it had farm animals as well it probably would have made it there oh we're jumping straight into the nether the basalt deltas Ooh, um i really love the atmosphere there like the ash the sounds like it's that irradiated area the lava the magma cubes though is what brings it down for me um and also the terrain is difficult to, to move across, but I, I just think it's so beautiful. And also, if you haven't seen my Nether Survival Season 2, the final episode, I finished a base there. And you can get some pretty cool base structures there. I think it... Uh, I'm swapping between Iron Tier and Gold Tier right now. I think Iron Tier, it's very cool. But it's not somewhere that I would probably... Well, you can also get like... Pretty big amounts of blackstone, can't you? I'm gonna leave it at iron tier for now, I think. I think I'm gonna leave it at iron tier. The next one is the birch forest. It's that simple. The, it's that simple. It's boring. It doesn't have anything other than birch trees, maybe some occasional lava pools, but I can find those other places, don't need those. And it's just not interesting. In general, I think Minecraft's forests should really be revamped, have like fallen trees, have vines, and maybe some stuff like that to make it more interesting and more alive. The best forest, it needs a revamp in my opinion. It really needs a revamp. So that's our very first dirt tier. Not even coal tier. Dirt. It's meh. Then we're jumping into the nether again with the warped forest. Not warped forest, crimson forest. I'm gonna put it to cold here. Now remember, this is from my experience and my personal opinions. As much as it's new and I love how it looks, the pigment and the hoglins, and mainly because I've been living maybe in that biome, yeah, well, for a whole season of their survival, that kind of drains it for you, playing a whole 
series in that specific biome and around it. Yeah, it's a little... Eh. Also, it I feel it's a little bit too much red. It blends too much with the netherrack as well. So I think coal's here, not iron's here. I feel like there should be some more diversity in the blocks. And also, it's extremely dangerous, even in like normal mode. So I think coal's here for me in this one. Now the roofed forest, I'm going to put it in iron's here. It's not gold's here. Again, I feel like the forest, instead of just having bare grounds, I feel like they should have more alive stuff. That is regarding to all forests except for the jungle. The jungle has what I mean here. Um, but the roof forest is cool, the trees are cool, you have the mushrooms, plus you can have the woodland mansions as well. So I think it's a nice tier. I don't think it quite makes it to a gold tier for me. The ocean on the other hand. Now we also have another type of ocean biome down here, which I will come to which is cooler, so I think I'm gonna put this in iron tier. They have made it really cool with the dolphins, with the turtles. Turtles, right? Yeah, turtles. <laughs> Shipwrecks and the ruined ocean biome thingies and the ocean monuments as well. I really like the ocean, actually. I think I'm gonna move it to gold tier, actually. It is a very, very cool biome, and with the new boats and the new swimming mechanics, it is very cool to be at the ocean. So, you know what? I th Yeah, I think gold's here for that one. Desert. I think that's a gold tier for me as well. I just really like the desert. It's flat area to build on. Usually you can find it near other biomes that are cool as well, such as savannas or plains um, or ocean as well. So you can build near it. I like building in uh, deserts. If you haven't watched my Eyes of Fire Season 2 series, I have a base there. And I kind of have a project where I'm trying to terraform the whole place around it. So I really like the desert actually. Unfortunately, it doesn't rain there, but sometimes you can get rivers that flow through and then those have rain, so that's really cool. I just really like the desert, if you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the normal forest with the oak trees and the birch trees, which again, according to me, should have more life living stuff. Pretty boring. Yes, I believe you might be able to find villages there. But I'm going to keep it at a cold tier, I think. It's not not my favorite, no. If it had more interesting stuff in it, maybe it would be an iron tier. I don't think you can find wolves, though. Yeah, you can find wolves in those. And you can find the village, but... No, cold tier. It's... It's... Yeah, yeah. A little bit boring. Oh, we're jumping straight into the end. So we have two end ones here. So this one is... I guess the area around an end city and tourist fruit. So that's fair. Now here's the issue. I love the end cities. I love the end ship. And I love the elytras. And I love the loot that you can find in them. But the biome itself. The gen world generation. Put the buildings aside. And put the world generation forward. Remove the buildings. And I think I, the end is so boring. Like it, in my opinion. It really really needs a revamp. But because... We're focusing on the end city here, clearly, and the general outer islands. I'm sorry, but I think I have to put it at a gold tier. Even though it has the life and such, it's just boring. I don't think... I'm looking at it at a terrain generation perspective, not really the loot and the building, because it is cool, but the terrain is just boring. It's bland, it's... You can't just add some choice fruits and call it good and call it pretty. No, I'm sorry, cold tier. If they revamped it so it was more alive, more just stuff on the ground, more plants and stuff like that, then it would easily make it gold here or even diamonds here. But the terrain generation, in my opinion, is just bland and boring. Then we have this ice biome where some of the ocean is ice and then we have some ice spikes on the ice itself. And I think those are really, really cool. Now there are some down downsides, usually not collected to, connected to land, not even at the bottom, so we can't dig down from the center, down into the ground if you want to mine, if you want the base there, then you would have to make a tunnel. That is the thing though, you can make some really cool bases in my opinion, plus you can find the ice bears there, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna put it at an okay, because there's really nothing else there to get other than polar bears, did I say ice bears? I'm sorry, polar bears, and then potentially ice, there's not really anything else interesting there. I don't think it's a gold tier for me. Then we have the... Tiger? Mega Tiger? Tiger Mega? Extended Tiger? Expanded? I don't know. The Enhanced Tiger. <laughs> you know, where you can find the big spruce trees generated naturally and pot soil. I like this because you have what I'm talking about. You have more 
as stuff alive on the ground with master cobblestone generating. That's another cool thing, actually. Um, and I think it is above this. I think it's above the iron tier, but even though it has that cool stuff, it is still not one of my favorites and anywhere I would choose to make a base. That might be... I don't know. But I, I don't think I want to put it any higher than that. Again, that's just from my personal opinion. It is a cool biome. I think you can even find villages there. Plus, you can get the mossy cobblestone, which kind of puts the value up. It is one of the better biomes. Even better than the roofed forest, which is why I'm considering putting it up. I think I have to put it into gold here. It is one of the better ones. Better than the roofed forest, in my opinion. We have the ice spikes. Which, I don't know... It, I think it's connected usually to this down here, Iced Plains, and that you can usually find villages in, even the igloos, which are really cool. And I think this might be one of the only places you can find packed ice, I could be wrong about that. But I think these are very rare, and I think they are very, very cool. And I would love to maybe at some point build a base near one, I don't know, but I think because this has more like detailed stuff, I think one of the goals here as well, mainly because it's just so rare and it has more stuff than this it's only these like go very high like towers almost i think i like that i think i'm gonna keep it at gold here we'll see at the end of this drink required all right what's the next one jungle instant hmm. i think this one might be a diamond here if i'm being honest i don't remember if you can find villages here but even if you can't, we have pandas, we have bamboo, we have parrots, we have ocelots, we have cocoa beans, we have the jungle trees, which you can make some really cool bases in. In my last vanilla series that I did, that is currently paused, I don't know if I'll continue it, but I started my base in the jungles, and I really like the stuff that you can make there. So, the only downside is it is impossible to go through. It's so slow to walk through a jungle. But I think it's a gold tier because it's, it is one of my favorite biomes to come across and it's beautiful. So it's, it, I think it's one of my favorite biomes. Now, we have the extreme hills here and this is in, I should say, this is in 1.16. When 1.17 and 1.18 comes out, my opinion is most likely going to change regarding this because we're going to get extended world height and whatnot. So this is in regards to 1.16, not in regards to what they're adding in 1.18. Then my opinion is going to change about this, but in the 1.16 and under, with the extreme hills here... Boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's boring. Yes, you can have some coal ores generating on the surface, and you have gravel. Then you have... I don't even think there's a gravel biome here. Maybe that's just included. I don't know. Maybe it's intended to be included in that place because it usually spawns in the extreme hills. Is it part of the extreme hills? I don't even know. Anyways, it's boring. It's boring. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Same with the birch one. It's boring. Now we have the mushroom island. This is rare. This has a unique mob. It has unique soil. And even if you change the soil, no bad mobs are gonna be able to spawn there except for phantoms. Which makes it ideal for a place of house, and if it's a multiplayer, a spawn island. So, I really, really like this. And I'm considering if it's a diamond tier. Mainly because of the no hostile mobs, because that is something none of the others have. Plus, it is rare. It doesn't really have any other useful resource, so I don't know. I'm considering whether or not I should keep things in gold tier at max and then at the end of this move some of them up in diamond tier because it's not going to be many that make it. Um, I'm going to leave it in gold tier. I think we will take stuff into the diamond tier once we have sorted them all because I will really need to think about these for a while, for a little bit, to be able to choose some because they're all very good. But even though I, the mushroom biome is really cool, it isn't my favorite and I maybe would make a base there, but I would rather have a base in one of the other biomes, I think. So I'm not sure about that. I'll leave it in gold here for now. Then we have this. The most boring biome in the whole nether that didn't get a revamp when they had the chance to do it. We have new biome, new biome, new biome, new biome. Same old boring thing. There's nothing. There's just the same block 
no interesting generation whatsoever. They could have at least added, I don't know what. They could have at least added some sort of soil, some sort of maybe special rare thing, some rock formation that gets generated, like dripstone, they're adding dripstone, maybe add some of that in that area. I don't know, that maybe drips lava or something? I don't know, but I, I, in just my opinion, it's boring. It's boring and it's just something you just want to run through as much as you can, because you can get a fortress in any of the other nether biomes, so yeah. No, boring. This is a lot of talking. Need to stay hydrated. Um, <laughs> what do we have uh, next? Uh, planes. It's an iron tier. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. You can get villages. It's flat. It's good for farming as well, but it is in gold tier. It is one of my favorites, but it's not among these favorite. I don't think I would say that, but I like it. Just like I like these. The savannah. Let me think. It is one of the biomes that I like. Not a lot, but I like it. So I think I'm here as well. You can find a lot of animals there. Sheep, pigs, cows, chickens. Plus acacia wood, plus villages. But it's not much more than that. Plus the trees, honestly, they're annoying to cut down. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it right there. Then we have tiger. Frozen tiger. In general... Is it only is it like only a river thing? That's the question. I don't think it is. Either way, it has more like stuff than a normal tiger, which in my opinion is boring. Um it's a little bit boring. Not the worst. But it's 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 a cool tier when we get there. This is okay. I love the river, how the ice is there, but then there's not much else to say about that. <laughs> then we have ice plains. Again, igloos, ice villages, the different. It's an okay one. It's a nine tier. I like it. I don't hate it. Then we have the Soul Sand Valley. It looks amazing. It's cool. You would get tons of bone meal. Blue fire was added in this. Skeleton spawn. Soul Sand is annoying to walk on. Ghast spawn there. Nine tier, I think. It is very beautiful, but I, I'm gonna have to think about those two. Because I really like how they look. It's not because I don't like the generation of them, I think it's just because I've been in the nether for so long, because of my nether survival series, that I've grown a little bit of a eh to them, because of certain things that have annoyed me throughout the series. So I don't know about those two just yet. But they're at the very least iron tier. They're not under. One of them might be gold tier. But I'm not sure yet. Let's move on. Sunflower fields. I mean, they have more detail than the normal fields, <laughs> to be honest with you. I guess I just wish maybe that there was a little bit more than just for sunflowers. Remove the sunflower biome and just put occasional sunflower generation in the normal plains. I think cold's here. Even though I've put villages up here, or the normal plains up here, and then the sunflowers down here, I guess it's an okay one. No, mm, I think it's a cool tier for me. I'm a little eh about it. Swamp. Swamps are cool. Swamps are pretty. Swamps are cool. You can get slimes from them. Witch huts are a thing. I like them. I don't hate them. But they're not super, super amazing. Like the like I like these up here. Normal tiger. Cool tier. Eh... It has to be under irons here because this is more pretty. This is a little bit bland. Even though there are ferns and grass there, it kind of blends in. Yes, you can find wolves. You can find foxes though. And I believe villages. Might have to rethink about this one. It has more than this forest in regards to ferns and foxes. So I'm considering putting it up. If there were a tier between iron tier and cold tier, it would be there, but I think it deserves a better spot than together with the normal forest. I think iron tier. I think iron tier. All right, three left. Let's do this. And island, the one with the dragon. <sighs> Boring. Again, bland. You have obsidian pillars, sure. You have the bedrock thing in the middle, sure. 
but it's boring. Add new stuff, please. In 1.9, they revamped the, revamped the end by adding the Outer Islands, which was cool. But come on, add more interesting stuff. I'm sorry, but look at this stuff. That's what we want. Add that down here. <laughs> it's, no, it's boring. Add some soil, plant life, something. Add something. Don't care what it is. Just add stuff to make it more alive and more pretty. Right now, it's just a lump of rotten cheese. Um, anyways, moving on, we have the Tropical Ocean. Now, this is ocean, but colorful. And that's an instant gold tier and potentially above because it is more than just an ocean. It is an incredible, cool-looking place. Even the ocean water changes to tropical. Plus, you're gonna have the tropical fish there. Now, imagine if tank underwater made of glass and that's your base and you can look up and look at that i really like the idea of that i'm gonna leave it a gold tier and then after we've taken the next one i will be moving a couple up to diamond tier i think all right we have one left which is another warped forest and i think that has to be a gold tier to me anyway again this is my personal opinions i like it a lot it stands out from the red it has enderman it has the vines flying up. Um, I like it. I really like it. All right. Here comes the interesting bit. We need to decide what reaches diamond tier. I'm gonna... This is difficult. But I think I need to move some up. And I think I know which three. Ah. <sighs> There's just one thing. It, there's a few things that bugs me with some of these that are not perfect. Where I'm a little bit skeptical about moving it up. But I think I need to move something up there. Alright, I'm just gonna wing it. Jungle Biome, I think, is one of my top favorite. If I were to make it top 3 or top 5. I think it's one of my coolest ones. It's, it's my? Yes, because I made the Jungle Biome. No. I think it's one of the coolest ones. It is rich with features and resources and materials. I really, really like it. And I think just because the ocean is here too, I think I need to move this up here purely because it is so pretty. And of course, there's ocean surrounding it as well. So you won't only go get that. You will be able to have a normal ocean around it as well. So I think this has to be above the gold tier. And this definitely is above the iron tier. I'm considering putting the desert or the mesa up there as well. Because I really, really like these two. You know what? The mesa biome has a special place in my heart. Because that's the living point of my very first vanilla Let's Play right there. It needs to move up, I think. And the desert, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Even though it technically has more features than this, then the maze biome is also unique in that I think it might be the only biomes that actually change all generation to gold being near the surface and have mine shafts as well. It's cool. And even though deserts are cool, I feel like this is where they should be. Now I'm just gonna look through these real quick. This is a good one as well. I don't know if it deserves to be an iron tier. I think it might be needed to move up to gold tier here. And same with the two nether biomes as well. I don't know if they deserve to be only an iron tier because they are pretty and I do like them. But again, I'm being affected by having two series going right after each other in a row, being around all that. And um, I kinda, it kind of gets worn out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying not to let that affect it. I think I might move the warped forest here down together with these other three biomes. Not because I don't like them a lot. If I hadn't been around the nether for so long as I have been, but played it like normal, I probably would maybe rank these differently. But again, from my personal experience and playing, I think they are ending up there. I'm just thinking whether or not to move this up because I think I actually like this a lot. But I don't think it because it deserves it compared to these. So I think that this right here is my tier list. I think that's it. You know what? Boom. I think I'm gonna cut it there. I'm gonna say it's done. I think I'm gonna say it is done. Otherwise I can sit here and think about it for hours and keep moving these three nether biomes up and down <laughs> constantly. I think 
I think I'm gonna leave it at here. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Let me know down in the comments below if you agree to this or if you don't agree at all. And also, let me know if you want to see more of this type of video and also if you want to see me rank biomes but after what I think the community likes. Let me know down below in the comments as well and by leaving a like on this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I believe 80% of you watching are not subscribed, so um, you know what to do. Hit the red button. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Let me know if you agree with this down below. But anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.